Welcome to another episode of Instruy. Yeah, yeah, today is not going to be a reaction. Today is not going to be a driving lesson because I can't drive. Today is going to be. I'm going to just report. I'm just going to tell you about something that's a, that has happened on the gospel in the gospel fraternity. <laughs> Lemon Blaze ball. Yeah, he ball. I mean, you know, like he ball ball like angry, but he has come to see a lot of things on his Twitter page, and I feel like I want to. And I feel like I have to let you know what, why, and when. Or what is causing this whole ranting on his speech? So I understand all the activities of a conundrum, so that you're not lost. You are Charlie. This guy is hot. Hey, no issue. <laughs> the guy is hot. Yeah. So I have the tweets here. That's I've opened this door and that door. Yeah. If not, I will die. So I have the tweet here. I'm going to read the tweet. I'm going to say what I think about the whole conundrum. Why am I using conundrum? About the whole issue. Yeah. So he said, being a Christian artist, people just randomly feel like they can speak over your life. <laughs> Question you and tell you what to do and not to do. So Charlie, it's there, pa. It's very, very there. When you, when God raises up to a particular level, people think that they can just say whatever they want to say to you. And it happens to everybody in their celebrity zone. And it happens. I have people are subject to and regard as spiritual authority, not just any random person on the internet who thinks they know me or my work with God. Yes, I like the last phrase because. People think that they know you. People think that they know people. people maybe you think you know your mentor because you knew him from your area. You stay in Dansoma. He also he, he also goes to Dansoma assemblies of God. So you think you know him or Limo Blaze was in Nigeria. The door has closed. I'll die here. Ha! Ah, air is coming. So you think that you know him because you and him are in the same. You don't know him. And you also don't know the, his work with God. What has happened between he and God? This thing is simple. If you don't believe in the ministry, do not listen. I mean, th this is the second tweet. Stay away from it, but don't come on my page to spill nonsense. <laughs> I watched for too many years Bully Lucree while acting like he cared about their mind. Hey! <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> so, Charlie, yeah, it's true. I agree with him. If, you eh, see, when God calls everybody, God doesn't call every man for the whole world. There is a particular region of people that God calls every man for. So, it's not everybody who's going to like you. When you start doing ministry for God, so if you don't, if you know you don't like Him, as He's saying, go away. Don't just come and say no if you don't understand what is happening. Yeah, I really wanted the man to turn away from Christ. So you can, you can say yes. We said it. He was sick. While I'm trusting God to heal this anxiety attack that come to show its head in my life from time to time, I'll protect myself from venom with a block for now. Sometimes we are we we don't think these people are humans too. You see, when you are living your life and people come to say things to you, you you are hurt. You, sometimes we don't think that this gospel. I think I have to open this door. Hey, <laughs> because the, if I if I if I open it, it's a, the beauty is not nice. Like it's not making the video nice. So it has to be like this. Oh, I'm lying. Yeah, so we think that these people are not human beings. We think that they don't have feelings. When you go on his page or under his comment section to go and say things, he also feels it too because he's also a human. Eh? And he put it the same to Lil Cray. Lil Cray has suffered. Yeah, maybe we'll do another video about Lil Cray. But Lil Cray's matter is like, it's bigger than this one. Eh, eh, yeah. I'm not obligated to your ideologies of what you think my faith is supposed to be. My faith is my work and work. My faith, sorry, my faith is my work and work with God as principle by scriptures. Yeah, so you don't have to, you, you can't use your culture, cultural principles to come and to come and say what you would think under his comments. Session. He is not using culture, he's using the scriptures and the work with God and God. Okay, okay. It used to be funny, but now it's just stupid. Find out on the internet that I am Illuminati or I'm chasing fame. Oh, I'm trying to wear this with as much as love as possible, but do you know how crazy the people who say this? these things sound to me haha <laughs> do you know the number of times in my life i've sat in label boardrooms or received calls from major labels saying how my sound is unique and i could be the next big pop star if i change my message wow mm. this year i turned down a brand endorsement in the millions wow so you can see why it's going through now people are ready to offer him money for him to just change his message not to talk about what what he talks about right now let's listen to what he did at a time when I really needed money, I did it because while I was thinking it was a blessing and an answered prayer. The Holy Spirit told me not to. Do you know all the times I sacrificed personal comfort to make this music to minister to my generation? Yeah. You think I'm changing fame? Exclamation sign. Three. So yeah, that's it for Limo Blaze. Limo Blaze has set his mind. Oh, and if you're watching this video, you don't know who Limo Blaze is. This is Limo Blaze. So yeah, I hope you've all heard what Limo Blaze has said, I mean, in his tweets. Uh, that's what I think. I, 
Africa has a problem, eh? Huh? Africa, we have a problem. Oh. Africa, we have a very big problem. You see, Africa, we have our culture. So when we see somebody doing something that is going a little bit contrary to their culture, we think that person is not from God or that person is doing something else. And we begin to criticize him or her. Me, the first time I heard Limo Blaze, I, I, I wouldn't say I felt completely in love with him like instantly. It took some time for me to adjust to his music because of the culture, because of where I was raised. Whereby he's always talking about love, 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 and this and his beats and the way he sings. It took me some time. But after listening to him for a lot for, for, for some time, I realized that this guy is good. And this guy is actually speaking the word of God. So the problem is when we see that you are doing something that is not usual in the African fraternity. Oh, hey, why am I using fraternity? In the African community, we think you are not real or you are fake or you are chasing clouds or you are illuminati or you are this or that. i don't really understand limo blaze oh he listens to limo blaze song the theme in every song he has ever sung is the love god has shown to us that's that is what most of his songs are about uh -huh. so when you listen to most of his song he's talking about the love that god has shown towards human mankind and that is what christianity is about it's about love it's about how god really really loves us uh, one of the major topics that people don't really get is how love god how deep god loves them people are not able to grasp that concept because it is too simple for them to understand or to for them to believe that god loves you no matter what you've done god loves you god can do god god can show mercy for you even in your this situation it is very it is very hard for people africans to grasp that con concept or that message because of how uh because of the teachings we be because of how we've been taught since sunday school and since so that is what limo blaze is doing so me i like it me because he was really straightening some misconceptions that i had in mind about god and how i thought god was and all that so that's why i like limo blaze so when i know definitely there are some churches or there are some christians who really want to listen to his songs because uh, uh there's this song by limo blaze uh this stupid love yeah when you listen to that song you'll be amazed that he's saying that who can love me like this like if you in my deepest shit like in quotes god still loves me so that's is what that is what limo blaze's ministry is about for me he's always talking about the love of god the love of god that is number one and his beats or his groove or his gender is also different from a lot of people like a lot of he has actually really brought the, this kind of afro beat to light that people are every now everybody's doing so i really respect that one and i think he's really doing a marvelous job and if you don't really understand if you don't really see what ife is doing I know a lot of people who don't like sound. That's what I said before that. It is not everybody who like you. I know he understands that. But if you don't like him, don't come to the page and come and say things that you think uh, you, you you just came out of your mind without even processing it. Because if you don't like him, somebody likes him. He's really ministering to a lot of people. A lot of people are being blessed by his song, whether you like it or not. Whether you, uh, you don't want to understand, whether you like it or not, people are liking his music. People love him. I know people who love him. When they hear him, their heart is... So this is what I have to say. And I think he has said it that Charlie he's doing, he's doing the work of God and he's a human too he also battles with his anxiety he also even the love of God that he is talking about sometimes he can I know he can get to a situation or situations where I think God doesn't even love him, love him again <laughs> so he's also battling with this he's also fighting his own battle so if you come to his page and come and add salt rice <laughs> eh, you are just killing his spirit because he's so human I know it sounds very weird. It sounds very new to the African community for him. But I just watched his recent video in with um, Lecrae and uh, the recent song they released every day. And I was like, mm, this video is a top level video. And for a typical African man or a typical African person to watch the video, the person would think that this is a secular music video. Because the video is actually very, very rich. The video is like, it's top notch video. And that's not... Uh, that's not how Africans do their videos. They're always going to stand by the sea, we're going to stand by the forest. <laughs> so when when you are when you you don't want to think, you <laughs> when you don't want to think, you would be led to think that this is a secular music video. Not like they were they were doing twerking or they were doing anything bad in the video but the video is just rich the content of the video the video quality the concept is just rich that you will you you might be led to think that it's secular music but it is not secular video they are not doing anything bad in the video yet now you understand he has sacrificed a lot of things just to be able to speak his this particular message that he believes god has given him yeah as i said earlier god gives everybody a message every minister of god a message so he has actually sacrificed a lot of things a lot of things today even to the extent that millions of money that he could have got but just changing his message i don't know which message they wanted him to change to or what he, they wanted him to change change to sorry but i mean he rejected it because the holy spirit told him not to do it so he has sacrificed a lot so you can't just come and sit in on social media with your 50 megabytes or your 
star 135 as and come just come and say whatever you want to come and say to him because he knows what he's going through and he knows what he has sacrificed for this particular purpose or for this particular uh ministry there's one thing he said that really um got to me that um do you know all the times I sacrifice personal comfort to make this music to minister to my generation? Mm. That's very powerful because every generation has a different vibe, has a different. I can't drive oh, the way I'm holding. Don't think I can drive. I can't drive. So <laughs> every every generation has this sound or this genre or this particular type of music we all are hyped about. Yeah. So in this particular generation, the movie is one of the people that we the teenagers are really excited about because of how he carries his music or how he makes his music. So he understands. That he has been called for this generation he understands that god has called him in this generation for a reason for him to come minister to us so he's not going to change the message or anything for any other reason so if you are if you were in a particular generation that is not this particular generation it's going to take you some time for you to adjust to his music that's what i'm saying so take your time if you don't like it take your time and adjust take your, just take your time eh yeah, so this is what Limo Blaze has to say, and this is what I also have to say about the whole issue. Yeah, so thank you for watching another episode of Issue. Yeah. On this channel, we do everything gospel music. Yeah, everything gospel music. Yeah. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe if you haven't. And if you are already here, if you are already part of the family, please share, like. Let me hear what you also think about the issue in the comment section. Please, please, please. Yes, I'm not the only person who has something to say. Yes. And then share for your friends to also um, watch and enjoy. Thank you very much for watching today's episode. I'm out.